My mother would have been bemused to learn that she would be a posthumously published poet. She died at the age of 102 a couple of years ago. I published one of her poems in my autobiography, Brief Candle in the Dark, and the philosopher A.C. Grayling spotted it and liked it. And he has a, a, a small publishing enterprise for publishing poetry. He asked me whether there are any more. So my sister Sarah and I hunted around in her papers and we found five poems in all. And Anthony kindly published them in this little booklet. They're also to be found on richarddawkins.com and now Lala Ward has read them and you can listen to them here. Water Hall. I can lean from my window and feel the wind about my face like water flowing, dark and cold. The little lights of houses shine in level lines and mark where towns lie huddled close against the earth. And all about the wind blows by cold song of winter on its breath. The great bear stands upon his head, his paws among the apple boughs that dark against a darker sky, wave in the wind and tap their twigs with little sounds forlorn and sad within the night's dark emptiness. On the invasion of France, 1940. The lilies, broken down in France, their petals trodden with the dust, will spring again. Their scent to spill, their strength to stand, their flowers to dance. Free in the sun and wind and rain, those proud white flowers will come again. Pale, lovely flowers of France. Their ancient fragrance handed down through the rich living loam of France. The pollen, golden, blown and free. A thousand years of lilies held within its breath just bring again the quiet flame of flowering France to blossom in the sun and rain. Bunch. Our old warrior dog is dead. That gallant heart will fight no more. And empty stretch the days ahead, as empty as the kitchen floor. Dear little ghost of happiness who lopes beside me down the years, no dog of flesh and blood will take your place, nor ever stem the tears that well unbidden from the heart. For you were very part of me, and all the fields and all the ways down woodland ride and open hill are empty places now for me. You are not there. You are not there. Death of a Cowman. The green pastures psalm we sang for you, and tears came blinding from the heart. For there beside the quiet streams one saw your spare, lone figure pass without your cows. And all that grass so green to waste no herd have you in those quiet meadowlands of death to follow where you lead. Or have those cows you loved and knew, who earlier trod the ways of death, been joined the other side with you? I'd like to think their gentle ways are still with yours. 
Your loneliness in death would be greater than in life you knew, with not a single cow to pass beside the waters quiet with you. Now you are there, and evermore will stay one with the land you loved and longed in life to own. Dust of its dust, no man can part you now from that high hill where in your youth you dreamed, proud as a boy can be, with strength and hope and plans. Life cheated you of all and dreams were naught, but death has mended that. And now the wind will blow around your farm forevermore. Your spirit mingle with the rain, the wind, the snow, the sun, the storm. That hill is yours and you are there, part of its strength, though ages pass. When night time came. When night came and the small lamp shone bravely and warmly in the long dark room and the casement stood wide to the night, to the sweetness of the garden and the shining of stars, to the silence and the stillness and the paleness of flowers and the light of the lamp was so small in the night. I shut my eyes and the music came stealing and pouring softly through the silent dark and my heart stood still for the terror of the song, for the sadness of its dying and the swiftness of its fall, for the things I could not know and that no man understands and it fills the night with silence and the music of my heart. In the changeless dark, when the low light came under my lashes from the shining lamp, I saw the shadows swift as the music galloped by of the greatness of old cities and the warming of the sun and the flowing of wide rivers and the stillness of the plain and centuries lay sleeping in the music of my heart. I saw pale skies where clouds sped by, flying and sailing through the sunlit air, and I saw tall ships like shadows on the sea in the crying of the music and the silent, unknown song that singing through the darkness lay breathless on my soul. And then the music ended and I saw the lamplight shine. <laughs>